Hello and welcome to Conversations with Ruth. I am Ruth. I am also known as Notorious RVG. During the time I work with ACLU, I encounter legal aid attorneys and was always impressed with their dedication and good work. I realized that I do not know much about legal aid of North Carolina. I have wondered what legal aid really is. How is legal aid able to serve all those that are eligible for its services? That legal aid not only provides services in specific areas, but to target populations, such as veterans, seniors, Native Americans, and victims of trafficking. Equally important is what are the services legal aid provides? Well, to answer those questions, I ask that you join me in a series of interviews about getting to know Legal Aid of North Carolina. I promise you that I and you together, we will learn what Legal Aid is and what services it provides. Welcome to Conversations with Ruth. I am Ruth. And I know some of you think you can call me RBG. But I think it's fair that I tell you I prefer to be called Justice. This interview today is part of our series, Getting to Know Legal Aid. It's my quest. I am interested in this firm, and I want to know what it does. Today, we are going to talk about an area of practice of legal aid that consists of preservation of government benefits. Specifically, I want to know about the disability claims or the claims that people have administered by the Social Security Administration. Our guest today, and we are certainly privileged to have here, Victor Boone. Victor Boone is the managing attorney of the Legal Aid Office in Raleigh. Victor, welcome. I am delighted Hi. to have you here. Glad to be here. And I hope you can help me go through this area that is quite interesting, that affects so many people. So when we talk about disability claims that are administered by the Social Security Administration, what are we really talking about? Well, we're talking about um, benefits that a person may be able to get uh, when they are disabled. And that, of course, those benefits would uh, come from the federal government. And uh, one of the clerks I have researched this and divided these benefits mostly into Social Security disability and SSI. What is SSI? Well, SSI stands for Supplemental Security Income. And that's for those individuals also who are disabled but whose uh, income has been limited during the course of their lives, or they've had no income at all. Uh, so uh, SSDI is for per persons who are disabled generally. So we have disability claims and non-disability claims. What are those? Well, the non-disability claims that we see are mostly overpayments um, because uh, there are sometimes allegations or assertions by the Social Security Administration that uh, persons received benefits to which they were not entitled. And that constitute almost like a debt to the government? That's correct. Okay. So it's important to address that. Absolutely. Especially for poor individuals. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So if someone calls the legal aid office and has a disability claim, they, they have gone to the Social Security office and they have filed a claim, what kind of help would they expect or should would get from so, from legal aid? Well, first, first of all, they'll be interviewed by a lawyer. The lawyer will get certain facts, as many facts as feasible, uh, it, during that phone call to determine whether or not the client has a claim that um, might need pursuit. What happens after that point is that. Uh, they will refer the case to a local office such as mine, and we will further evaluate it and investigate it if necessary 
and beyond that, if it's, if representation is necessary, we will provide the representation for I that see. individual. I see. Some of these uh, applicants then will get actual representation in the case. Yes, and at a minimum, they will get advice. Even with regard to those that are lacking in merit, they will receive advice during the, that initial phone call with the lawyer. And for people that call about those non-disability claims, uh, is it different or do they get the same type of service? They get the same type of service. It simply depends upon uh, the nature of the case, but in any event and in every event, uh, a discussion will be had with them to determine what the issues are that the person is calling about and advice will be given and if there's additional follow-up that's necessary and it's within our priorities and the case is referred to a local office such as mine. And this representation, either in the non-disability or disability claims, does it include representation at hearings? Yes, it does. Uh, typically, it is uh, at, at, at an administrative law judge hearing, and if necessary, we'll appeal beyond that. But So you uh, also include appeals? Yes, indeed. Okay. How about the request for retirement social security questions or issues? And I'm interested in that because... I'm a little bit over 60 now. <laughs> well, we certainly will provide information uh, and advice regarding those issues as, as well. We don't get a lot of those, I don't believe, but to the extent that they come in, they get the same type of treatment that everybody else does. If it's something that, that necessitates representation, then we will certainly take a look at it and the same procedure will be followed to uh, investigate and possibly represent that individual. And retirement questions about retirement, uh, do those go to that special project, the senior, yes. is that what it's called? Yes, well, uh, many of them do, most of them do, not all of them, but most of them go to the senior law project uh, that is specifically set up to address issues that relate to seniors, especially. And I have to ask, because Medicare is sometimes difficult to understand, uh, do you provide, does legal aid provide services in the Medicare area too? Uh, yes, we do, to the extent that issues arise. Again, we will investigate those, make an assessment as to whether or not it's something that we can assist with. And if there is something uh, that we can, then we certainly will. What, uh, what kind of education uh, services Legal Aid provides in this area? Uh, with regard to Medicare, specifically? With regard to Social Security in general? Uh, well, we, uh, uh, first of all, as I indicated earlier, we interview the clients. Uh, to determine what uh, issues might exist for them. Uh, an assessment is made as to whether or not just advice is required or if something more is required. If it is, if they, there is more that's required, yes. we will, uh, the case will be referred to a local office. I, I see, I, I actually meant education community. Oh, education. I'm sorry, okay. Uh, from a community standpoint, we do provide uh, community education regarding issues, not only with regard to Medicare and Medicaid and other public benefits issues, but with regard to a number of other issues as well, inclu including consumer rights. Okay. And that probably is very helpful. Well, Victor, we have reached conclusion of our presentation today. I am quite interested in this area personally and because I know so many people are affected. I recall that there are over 2,000 people that Legal Aid has assisted last year in this area alone. So thank you so much for being here and talking to me about this. And for all of you that join us today, thank you. And I invite you to participate in our future conversations with Ruth. <laughs>